I'm just uh, pondering my orb here like all white people do. <laughs> uh, no, I think they get it. Hey, welcome back, everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick video about this latest just absurdly dishonest 1-6 propaganda offensive. During yesterday's sham partisan hearing, they read off some text messages between Republican Mark Meadows, Donald Trump Jr., and just some other people who were around Trump, who all themselves were surprised by what they were seeing and were reaching out to try and get a hold of Trump and get him to go out and say something and maybe stop it. Which, in fact, he did. Mr. Meadows received numerous text messages that he has produced without any privilege claim urging President Trump to take action. I read a number of those last night to the nation. Here are a few others from Republican members. Quote, it is really bad up here on the Hill. Another one, the president needs to stop this ASAP. Another one, fix this now. And as we saw last night, dozens of texts, including from Trump administration officials, from members of the press, from Donald Trump Jr., urged immediate action by the president. Yet, of course, they're trying to say that he waited too long to do it. In fact, it proves what Republicans, some at Fox News, and even the FBI have said, that there was no planning for what happened that day. All right, folks, we're gonna get right into this, but first, just give me 30 seconds for this quick capitalism break so I can tell you about this free coin offer. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas? Electricity? Electricity? A precious metals IRA with Noble Gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. And this month, Noble Gold is giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. But we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. I know how you feel. But go home and go home in peace. But the fact is, these text messages prove that there was no pre-planning. And a fact that always gets glossed over, Trump told people to march peacefully and let your voices be heard. So that brings us to the media's reaction. And I've chosen CNN because they have the most absurd take. But they're all pretty much saying the same thing, that these texts prove what they and the Democrat state media have been saying, which they don't. What Meadows did with these messages. Right. Did he go directly to Trump? But we do know he was one of the very few people who wanted to be around the president that day. Our reporting was that a lot of people were avoiding the Oval Office as all of this was going on. But what does it tell you that they can no longer deny that they didn't know what was happening on Capitol Hill because they were getting texts from people inside the Capitol saying, we are literally under siege here. They weren't literally or even figuratively under siege. Do you even know what a siege is? These people weren't even armed. And second, is she wearing a shirt with a bunch of red lips on it? I mean, we're 12 days from Christmas, not Valentine's Day. Oh, no sick bird, bro. On a network where a guy masturbated on a CNN Zoom meeting and then was brought back to work again where their premier anchor was just fired for helping to discredit his brother's sexual assault accusers. A network where one of their producers was just charged with grooming young girls. A network where Don Lemon is now being accused of abuse. Weird. But her claim here is that these text messages somehow prove that Republicans knew what was gonna happen, implying that they were somehow in on a plan. No, the text messages don't show that at all. They show that they were just as surprised as everybody else and wanted it to stop. You're telling me that we're supposed to believe that this was all orchestrated by Trump, but nobody knew about it in his inner circle, nor did his son, Donald Trump Jr. That's what's so significant. That and I think the fact that the, the Trump Fox feedback loop has been totally exposed. All these people who've been trying to ritualistically downplay this attack on our democracy, saying it was, you know, it was a mostly peaceful protest, you know, could have been a, it was a, it was tourists on a, on a, on a, in, you know, in, in t -t today, Junior, in areas they weren't supposed to be at a time they weren't supposed to be there. News organizations have connections to the president. That's not at all unusual. Some people within Fox News contacted Trump or tried to get in touch with him to tell him to say something to get the riots to stop, which he did, just not quick enough for these people. And this is especially nauseating, coming from a partisan left-wing Democrat Crap party feedback loop network. So his argument here is that Fox News is downplaying it. 
How so? We don't know because he doesn't go into specifics. But I think it could be successfully argued that John Avalon and CNN have overplayed this event. Sure, some people got violent with riot police. That is literally the extent of it. There was no possibility that any of these unarmed people were going to stop or destroy democracy. Not by fighting with riot cops, something that happens at just about every left-wing slash Democrat Party protest slash riot. 2,000 police were injured in Democrat riots over the last few years that seemed CNN called mostly peaceful. And as Joe Biden himself pointed out that owning an AR-15 doesn't mean that you're going to be able to overtake the government because they have F-16s and nukes. And if you want to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. It's not a lie that people were let in there and then walked around like they were on tour. I mean, this is all on video. Just because CNN refuses to show that video doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And it doesn't mean there's something wrong with Fox News showing it. They knew instinctively in real time that this was a desperate moment, that the Capitol was being attacked. They were pleading to the president, showing that they were really functioning as political functionaries, nothing resembling journalists in that, that administration. Their public denials, both in Congress and on TV, are all lies. They all knew the truth in real time because it was self-evident, and they've tried to create a false impression in the, going forward to protect the president, to protect the administration, to protect their own reputations, and they played their audiences for fools. Yeah, this is coming from a Democrat Party state media outlet that acts as Biden regime propaganda that spread lies like hands up, don't shoot, that led to actual riots, helped to promote hate hoax hucksters like Jussie Smollett, and is apparently filled to the brim with rapists and pedos. This is all just so plainly political theater. John Avalon and CNN are just using this all to take a shot at their political and business opposition. Fox News destroys all of them in the ratings, so they're just using this as a pretext like they do everything else to silence people they disagree with. All right, another one in the books. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.